Welcome to Pro Wrestling History Daily Top 5. I'm your host, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and join me as I count down the top five moments for this day in pro wrestling history. But before we get started, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling history on. Number 5. 2003. Edward George Farhat passes away. He was an American professional wrestler better known by his ring name, The Sheik, often called the original Sheik to distinguish him from the Iron Sheik, who debuted in 1972. Farhat is credited as one of the originators of hardcore wrestling. He was also the promoter of big time wrestling and the uncle of ECW wrestler Sabu. Farhat promoted his shows at the Kobo Hall in Detroit and was the booker for Frank Tunney's shows at the Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto from 1971 to 1977. Number 4. 1954. Ted DiBiase is born. Not just a professional wrestler and manager, but an ordained minister and color commentator. DiBiase achieved champion success in every promotion he was in, holding 30 titles during his professional wrestling career. He is best recalled by mainstream audiences for his time in the World Wrestling Federation, where he wrestled as the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. He will be remembered as one of the best technical wrestlers and one of the greatest villains in pro wrestling history. Number 3, 1998. The WWF holds the 11th annual Royal Rumble pay-per-view at the San Jose Arena in San Jose, California. In the main event, WWF champion Shawn Michaels defeats The Undertaker in a casket match to retain the title, after Kane chokeslammed The Undertaker into the casket and closed it. During the match, Michaels took a back body drop to the outside, smashing his lower back on the edge of the casket, causing two herniated discs and crushing one completely. This leads to his four-year hiatus as an active wrestler. After the match, Kane and Paul Bearer padlocked the casket with The Undertaker inside. They then pour gasoline on the casket and set it on fire. The fire was extinguished after the show went off the air, and the casket pried open with a crowbar to reveal no one inside. Number 2, 1894. Joseph Raymond Toots Mott is born. He was an American professional wrestler and promoter who revolutionized the wrestling industry in the early to mid 1920s and co promoted the Worldwide Wrestling Federation. Some of the stars Mott helped create from the 1920s through the 1960s include Wayne Munn, Jim Londos, Antonio Rocca, Bruno San Martino, Stu Hart and Cowboy Bill Watts. Number 1, 1971. The World Wide Wrestling Federation holds an event at Madison Square Garden in New York City, New York. In the main event, Ivan Koloff pins WWF World Heavyweight Champion Bruno San Martino after a top rope knee drop following a body slam to win the title. This ended San Martino's legendary reign as champion a record which still stands and probably will never be broken. And that's our list. Make sure to comment below on which event you feel was the most important for this day in pro wrestling history. Till next time, I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.